Coach, just your reaction to this W and the way you guys played the game overall. Yeah, it was, I think it was a great performance. You know, everybody contributed. Um, they had their moments that uh, that helped us get the win. Um, you know, they made they made some plays, some 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 live ball turnovers and threes in the fourth quarter. Otherwise, their defense was really good for the most part, and guys battled and played hard. Um, and I thought moved the ball and played played well offensively as well. So it was a good team effort. Uh, I apologize that this question comes off a little stupid, but um, Kevin's good all the time. Mm. Does he look more locked in? During this stretch, the way he's playing for you guys right now, or is it typical Kevin? Um, somewhere between typical and more locked in. You know, he is, uh, yeah, I don't want to say that he's not um, you know, always competing at a high level, but uh, he was he was terrific tonight, obviously. Um, scoring the ball, distributing the ball, defending, uh, rebounding, so uh, total uh, effort from Kevin. We needed it, and uh, he was he was incredible. Steve, the last eight games, you guys have shot at least 49%. And some of those games you've had ties, some not. And, and obviously, Kevin drives a lot of that. But as far as the group overall, are you seeing them at a different level defensively? Sorry. Offensively? I think we're growing. You know, we're learning. We're getting some cohesion. We're understanding how to play um, together, to play uh, <clears throat> through Kevin, to play off Kevin, to play when they blitz him, double him, to, to be aggressive. Um, and play together at times. You know, I think tonight, uh, 31 assists, 14 turnovers. A few were late. Otherwise, uh, you know, I thought a very efficient offensive game. Steve, going off that, obviously, Kevin was huge in that third quarter where you guys got separation. Was there anything else you thought changed that allowed that? I thought our defense was really good. You know, we held them, uh, held them down in the, in the, to 24 in the third. Um, you know, really second and third, we held them to, to 47. So that was a, a key stretch in the game that gave us that separation. And do you have any update on Seth and if he'll go with you guys to Memphis, Miami? No update yet. Um, you know, obviously, we, we hope it's not too bad. But, uh, you know, we'll probably see and, and know more tomorrow. Steve, how much concern is there given that it's the same ankle issues that he's been dealing with for a while now? Yeah, I think we, we, we would be concerned. Um, we'll see what it's like tomorrow. But he went, speaking to him at halftime, he, he didn't it didn't sound like he thought it was uh, doom and gloom. So hopefully it's a quick uh, recovery. Uh, but we never know. You never know how these things respond, if they balloon, balloon up overnight or how he feels. But um, it was different um, to the previous one, but the same ankle, but uh, different. And so I think he feels optimistic that it's not too bad. Just want to ask about Nick. You talked about him a little bit before the game, but obviously with Andre out, you really needed something from him tonight. Mm -hmm. What did you see about the way he delivered for you? Yeah, I mean, just Nick is, uh, you know, he really uh, can, can add a lot to our team with his athleticism and defensively. He's uh, so versatile, um, you know, and offensively, he's a, a screener and a roller and plays with pace. So uh, he was great. And uh, we got to give... Uh, you know, a big shout out to Blake as well. I thought Blake was outstanding tonight and, uh, you know, really gave us a lift in really important minutes. Thanks, guys.